What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the Beastly Gamer channel. Today I want to do a little bit of talking about one of my favorite video game developing studios and that is Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog has been working with Sony now for many many years. They made some fantastic games. These, the games that they've made have been critically uh, successful and commercially successful and people love them. If you own the PlayStation 3 then there's a pretty good chance that you've played an Uncharted game. And if you've owned a PS3 in the last 12 months, then you've probably played The Last of Us. These are probably the biggest games that Naughty Dog has ever made. Uncharted 1, 2, and 3 were all extremely successful, and The Last of Us, their newest IP, has been extremely successful. The Last of Us Remastered on PS4 was the biggest selling game last month, and uh, I, I can see why. These games are great. There's a lot of talented people working in these studios. And when you put a lot of talent together, you get something magical. And that's really what they've been doing at Naughty Dog now for the last few years. Unfortunately, at this studio, there's been a lot of drama over the last eight months. There's been a lot of people who have just walked out of that studio who have been fired. Uh, there's still a lot of questions about what happened with uh, the Uncharted writer, Amy Hennig, leaving that studio. At first, it was rumored that she was actually forced out by Neil Druckmann and the uh, the last of us crew and uh, Amy Hennig is extremely talented I don't know what happened there maybe her talent got to her head and she became too arrogant and people didn't want to work with her I don't know but they forced her out and now she's working on a Star Wars game and uh, that's a, a pretty bad thing because she's extremely talented you know she actually envisioned the world of Uncharted and wrote that story numerous times and all her stories have been great, so wherever she goes, she's going to be successful. The Uncharted 4 game director, Justin Richman, left recently. And uh, that changed the whole scope of what Uncharted 4 was going to be in, in a lot of ways. Uh, the Last of Us lead character artist, Michael Nolan, left recently. And Nate Wells left uh, in April. And Nate Wells was the lead art director for The Last of Us. So they lost a lot of very talented people over the last few months. And uh, that probably changed the face of the company and, and more than likely made them look at themselves to figure out what was happening. Um, when you have a job like that, where you're in a prestigious position and you're working around very talented people, it's really good to do your job, keep your nose clean, and try to stay away from friction and drama. I've worked in situations in my life uh, where I've had to leave companies. I left a company in Ohio when I moved here to Georgia. And uh, before I left, I actually had a meeting with, with the owner, millionaire owner of the company. And uh, he told me, he said, hey, Beastly, Beastly, that's what he called me. He said, if you ever come back here, I just want you to know you have your career. You're coming right back here. And that made me feel really good um, because not often does that happen in a work environment. Usually if you leave a working environment, uh, uh, well, a majority of the times, you're not going to be go coming right back there. Uh, companies feel slighted, f uh, friends feel crossed, and a lot of times leaving a job like that, a person will step on some toes, ruffle some feathers, and anger some people. So I don't know with everybody here, but I'm pretty sure Amy Hennig will probably never be coming back to uh, Naughty Dog because of the rumors of her, of her exit were so uh, dubious at best. But the good thing is somebody can come back. Nate Wells, the, the lead art director of The Last of Us, has just rejoined Naughty Dog. And this article is on DualShockers.com and it reads, The Last of Us art director Nate, Nate Wells was reported to have left Naughty Dog back in April to join Giant Sparrow Games and work on a new game. But apparently he couldn't stay away from the kennel very long as his LinkedIn profile now has changed to show him back at the House of Uncharted with a new lead artist role. While we don't know what caused this switch, it looks like things have gone back to square one demonstrating once more how fluid the gaming industry is. I think that's great. To uh, work in an environment like that, not ruffle any feathers and then be welcome back uh, to get your job back and work with your old friends, I think that's fantastic. Naughty Dog. One of my favorite video game developers. Keep that talent in the house. And if people come back, just let them come. Let them come back. You guys have made magic together. I think it's great that they're allowing uh, Nate to come back and, you know, possibly work on the next The Last of Us game and, and envision that world and create the art of it. Uh, 
And I just like to see people have their career. Sometimes you step out of the box and try something new and then you look at it. When you look back, it's not what you thought it would be. And if you ever have the opportunity to take a step back and redo things, I think that's great. I think he can now reassess his decisions. You guys let me know what you think about this story. Nate Wells back at, at Naughty Dog. I'm the Beast of Gamer. See you guys next time.